Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at whether weather in the UK is becoming more extreme. This is part of Paper 1, Unit A, The Challenge of Natural Hazards. Many people argue that the weather in the UK is becoming more extreme. But what is the evidence for this? The State of the UK Climate Report, published annually by the Met Office, highlights the following four points. Number one, the UK's climate is continuing to change. Recent decades have been warmer, wetter and sunnier than the 20th century. Number two, all of the UK's top 10 warmest years in the time series from 1884 have occurred this century. Number three, while the year 2021 would be considered near normal compared to the last three decades, before 1990, a year like this would be the second warmest in the series. And number four, in 2021 specifically, UK temperatures and sunshine were near to the 1991 to 2020 average, with rainfall slightly below. However, it is worth stating that this report was published in July 2022 and summarises the climate of 2021, therefore does not include the record-breaking temperatures experienced in July 2022. So what were the key takeaways from the State of the UK Climate Report? We'll start off with temperature. On average, it was 0.2 degrees warmer between 2012 and 2021 than it was between 1991 and 2000, and one degree warmer than it was between 1961 and 1990. Moving on to sunshine. On average, it was 2% sunnier between 2012 and 2021, than it was between 1991 and 2000, and 8% sunnier than it was between 1961 and 1990. In terms of rainfall, on average, it was 2% wetter between 2021 and 2012 than it was between 1991 and 2000, and 10% wetter than it was between 1961 and 1990. And finally, let's have a look at air and ground frosts. On average, there were 5% fewer frosts between 2012 and 2021 than there were between 1991 and 2000, and 19.5 fewer than between 1961 and 1990. So we're going to consider these in a bit more detail. We'll start off with temperature. The top 10 warmest years for the UK since 1884 have occurred since 2002. In contrast, none of the coldest years have been recorded this century. In August 2020, temperatures of at least 34 degrees were recorded for six consecutive days, along with five tropical nights. These are nights where the temperatures stay above 20 degrees. Neither event had ever been seen before in the UK. Since 2000, nearly every year except three have recorded at least one tropical night, whereas between 1961 and 2000, only 50% of years had this. Warm spells have seen their average length more than double, increasing from 5.3 days in 1961 to 1990 to over 13 days in the decade between 2008 and 2017. And of course, in July 2022, we saw the record-breaking temperature of 40.3 degrees. Moving on to rainfall and flooding. Six of the ten wettest years on record have occurred since 1998, with records beginning in 1862. There has been an increase in the number of days where rainfall totals exceed 50 millimetres, highlighting an increase in frequency and intensity of rainfall. The UK is expected to experience drier summers and wetter winters, but summer rainfall will become more intense and we'll see more severe flood occurrences in the summer months as a consequence. In terms of wind, there is no strong evidence of stronger winds in the UK. However, warming in the North Atlantic could bring the tail end of more hurricanes to the UK. 
This means we could experience an increase in storm force winds. Rising sea levels will also lead to more incidents of coastal flooding and storm surges, with a higher risk of weaker storms causing coastal flooding, which wouldn't have happened in the past. So let's round this video up by looking at how extreme cold has changed. The average coldest day of the year has become 1.7 degrees milder at minus 6.8 compared to 8.5 between 1961 and 1990. There are also far fewer very cold days. This is the average number of days when the maximum temperature stays below zero. This is now 3.2 compared to 4.8 between 1961 and 1990. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on whether the weather in the UK is becoming more extreme. Thank you for watching.